David, um, thank you. It's a pleasure having you and uh, uh, for the conference today. What are the three key takeaways that you want the participants to really remember from, from your session? Yeah, and uh, thanks for being invited. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, the key takeaways would be like the, to have the kind of start and have the risk management more and more in a holistic way. So kind of have the right approach to it, not only from bottom up, we need both uh, perspectives. The other one also to try to really integrate risk management closer to performance management so they can, can be combined and so we get this value added from so we get more complete enterprise management, I would call it. Uh, and thirdly, actually, also the need to start to the strategic risk is even more important because we see that we use too, we don't use enough time to under strategic risk management. Uh, so that is so important for the development of the company. Mm. Uh, talking about integration, which clearly is becoming like a key theme in the risk management development, what uh, what processes, what business disciplines would or who with uh, risk management needs to be integrated? Like who would who would you target? Which vice president? Which business process would you target in the company to start integration? Well, actually, this uh, finance and control is kind of the really important part mm -hmm. of it. I think it has to be uh, closely linked to the risk management because mm -hmm. this is about performance. Uh, so we can actually increase the to kind of to not only to reduce the downside, but really to exploit the upside. That's why we need the performance management to be more integrated into risk management. Because I think we have the same, same uh, approach, the same economic dimension, and, and uh, the same goal in a way. Now, now Statoil is a multinational company. Um, it, it's huge. And one of, the, one of the amazing things I found in your presentation is that one of the values, strategic values that the company has, is understand and manage risk. Mm -hmm. how, how important was getting that value on paper and spreading it through the employees? Yeah, that was that was really important. But we saw that uh, when this set the, set the tone at the top, so when the CEO kind of says, says this in part of the, our, our values, they said that we want to understand this. We are here to take risk, to create sustainable value, uh, and so actually, but we are aware that there is a risk inherent in that activity. So we want to understand it and to be able to create value, but at the same time avoid incidents. Mm -hmm. well, why did you go with understand and manage and not like mitigate or minimize and ensure for them? I think it was also based on the uh, kind of the development we have done within you know, risk management because uh, we have been working with enterprise risk for a long time and also the current CEO has been the CFO, has been also heading the corporate risk committee. So he understands kind of the the great difference between understanding and just controlling it. Mm -hmm. yeah, excellent. And just to take a sort of a change in direction in, the, in this conversation, what, what advice, given, um, given the recent developments in risk management, what advice would you give to, to new young risk managers or people just getting into the career of risk management? I would say that this is a really exciting area because it's kind of, it's not, not everything is decided. You have to develop, you can influence the risk management uh, area itself. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, uh, and if you look at the textbook from some years ago, there was nothing about enterprise risk or something. Sure, sure. It's just started to talk about it in, in different books, but it, it's quite a young young uh, topic, a young area, so there's a lot to, to learn and to continue and, and also have to influence yeah. itself. Mm -hmm. yeah, excellent. And just to just end on a sort of on the lighter note, uh, what, what what risk management book would you recommend uh, people people to read? Yeah, well, I could well, we have in a chapter, but I would recommend Peter Simpkins' book about best practice within risk management. I think that's a, that's a good one. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you very much for taking the time yeah. to speak to us today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.